Menopause is one phenomenon almost every woman dreads and wish they wouldn't have to live with. It's a time when sex, no matter how it's done or with whom, doesn't give off ecstasy. It occurs when a female doesn't experience her period for 12 months straight, and she isn't sick or pregnant. This is a natural aging phenomenon. However, in a bid to scientifically assess the dreaded phenomenon, scientists have come up with a solution of some sorts. Who could have imagined that the thing menopause affects could be the very tool with which women delay it? Menopause is a result of the fact that female sex hormone levels typically go down as their age goes up. Your ovaries inevitably quit supplying eggs, hence, no more periods or the possibility of pregnancy. Most ladies experience menopause around the ages of 40 and 50. You may begin to see changes months or years before your menopause. The woman experience irregular periods and hot flashes. That is the perimenopause stage. It's impossible to know precisely when your menopause will begin. All there's to do is for you to pay attention to the changes in your feelings. Remember that symptoms differ from female to female. Some women experience no symptoms. The classic indicator that you are en route to menopause is when your period begins to fluctuate always. It may come less frequently or more regularly, be lighter or heavier, or last shorter or more than previous times. Researchers may not have been able to figure out a stable symptom for menopause, but with recent research, they might have found a way to delay it. A study published on the Royal Society, Open Science website, suggests that women who have sex regularly enter menopause later than those who do not regularly engage in sex. The research was based on the USA's SWAN, study of women's health across the nation. The research involved 2,936 women taken from the 11 waves of the SWAN, which is an ongoing longitudinal cohort study. The study analysis discloses that females, who reported taking part in sexual acts every week, were 28% more averse to encounter menopause early. Women of all ages who perform sexual acts weekly seemed to have a 0.72 risk ratio when it came to encountering menopause early. Also, the individuals who engaged once every month had a risk ratio of 0.81. Ladies who had sex once a month had a 19% lower probability for early menopause. These associations stood even after the scientists adjusted due to several confounding elements. These are the female's level of estrogen, her educational level, weight file, smoking propensities, as well as the age she had her very first period. Sexual activities incorporate sex, foreplay, sexual touching, oral sex, and self-stimulation or caressing. How does this happen? Megan Arnett, PhD, the first author of the research, stated that according to the results, if a woman isn't continually engaging in sexual acts, then her body decides to stop investing in ovulation and directs the resources elsewhere. It is believed that an energetic biological exchange takes place. Either the body invests in ovulation or invests in something else like staying active to take care of the grandkids. The analysts explained the findings through an evolutionary system. According to them, during ovulation, female immune functions get impaired, making the body more vulnerable to sickness. Therefore, if pregnancy is unlikely, due to no sex, it wouldn't be valuable to allocate energy to an expensive procedure. Conversely, suppose a lady is continually participating in sex, which might prompt pregnancy. In that case, it's better to keep up the capacity of her menstrual cycle for a more extended period. Hence the menopause gets delayed. Apparently aging demands a lot of management skills from both the conscious and unconscious you. If you want your body to recognize that sex, pregnancy is a priority for you then you'll have to put in more effort in that department. One might begin to imagine that this theory would mean that prostitutes go into menopause late since they have sex as constantly as possible. However, this should not give any woman the impression that if she engages in enough sex, she could avoid menopause altogether. Menopause is an inevitable phenomenon. There are limitations to the research as no one knows how much we can read into it. As is the case with every observational study, it can't reveal to us whether sex is directly connected to the period of menopause. That is because numerous components influence a person's sexual activity and the beginning of the menopause. For instance, if a woman encounters nervousness or vaginal dryness, both natural indicators of menopause, they might be more opposed to having sexual intercourse. The research results are intriguing for researchers exploring the science of the menopause and how it may be influenced by lifestyle. Professor Mace, a fellow author, and Arnett also checked if living with a male lover would influence the female's menopause. This was incited by the likelihood that closeness to pheromones, from a man, could defer menopause. 
Be that as it may, evidence of this was not discovered at all. The common question is, what explains the relationship between the constancy of sex and a woman's age of entering menopause? The scientists think it might have something to do with the amount of energy the body is prepared to consume on ovulation. As disclosed by the researchers, the more a female participates in any form of sexual activity, the more the body sees an opportunity for pregnancy. Hence the menopause is paused. Conversely, if her body hasn't been sexually active as of late, it appears that the pregnancy-related organs begin to quit their functions. There is a theory called the grandma hypothesis. This states that menopause initially advanced in humans to decrease regenerative conflict among various generations of women. Also, it permits females to expand their comprehensive wellness by putting resources into other things. Therefore menopause could help maintain a woman's energy levels. She could put more of her energy, resources into different activities, like, caring for her relatives, hence the grandma hypothesis. Finally, based on the study's discoveries, the outcomes are underlying signs that menopause timing might be delayed in response to the probability of pregnancy. If you enjoyed watching this video, do like, share, leave a comment and subscribe.